Hi guys, so um, I've taken a couple days off just to get recovered from crawling around on the floor for four days. And I stopped in to check on Randy and see how he's doing. And just thought I'd share what I found when I got here. What's up YouTube? <laughs> That's my favorite thing. I'm up on the roof and I'm putting on the skylights. Oh, and I just realized I left the butyl tape down there. Uh-oh. But that's no problem because we're on an electric lift here today. I've got my skylights up here. And they're laminated safety glass. So, this is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you guys how I did this. So, I've had these cut bigger than my opening so I got overlap and then I'm just gonna mark that's where my window's gonna go so now we're gonna go back down and go get the, the hardest part up here is you don't have a lot of room there's not a lot of room and the bus is a little squishy on this front ceiling. I wish I could show how you're having to climb over this. He's like climbing out of this onto the bus. Okay. God, I love my man. Now we He's gotta fearless. Rest. You are yeah. fearless, baby. Somebody's got to put these windows in. And what he hasn't shared with you guys is can tell them I used to put windshields in, but I am not, this is not a how-to video. Randy used to put, he used to be a glazer, he used to put windshields in before he became a kaleidoscope artist. So, this is automotive butyl. So I'm putting this butyl around the inside lip here, which is basically just like the pinch weld on a car windshield used to be back in the old days. He's got the back two windows in already. And they look amazing. And he's got the other side in. So this is the last one. think about it this morning how can I get me up here and the windows up here yeah you really don't have much of a landing to well plus this roof is spongy because the cross members the cross members under the roof I, I'm trying not to move on that I stuffed foam up under there to, to help support it to support it so. it's got a lick <laughs> I'm not sharing these. <laughs> so, these are laminated safety glass like a car windshield. So if these get hit with a rock or something, they'll crack but they won't fly in into your face. This is like backwards of a windshield install. Because no, I'm putting the setting blocks in after I pushed them into the glue. The butyl tape will not hold them. When they get hot in the sun, they'll try to they'll slide down. They'll try to down. slide down. That's why I put the setting blocks on there. Smart. With the rubber block. What'd you say? I said the whole thing's been an amazing evolution. I know, a complete transformation from what our was, life was like, huh? Yeah. I never pictured myself on top of a fucking bus. <laughs> I can agree with that. <laughs> oh, man. See, I'm taping this directionally 
So when oh, I peel it off. It'll all come in one clean swoop. You know, pick up the you, mess. You've done this kind of stuff before, haven't you? I've made a mess before. I'm good at this. <laughs> I am here to learn, baby. We are building us a beautiful new home, huh? Yeah. And we're going to put on automotive urethane. So that butyl was just to hold it up, hold it in place. This is what's going to actually stick it to the bottom. So you can see it'll, it'll go up under there. do anything conventional. He just straddling the bus. Like see right there it's not touching. But it's not Oh yeah you can see it. Yeah so if you come back in you can push it up under there with the stick. You can push it up under anywhere it's not touching like that. Yeah. You can take it where there's too much wasn't enough down here. You can only do this one swipe with one brand new razor blade. So everywhere that razor blade hits that edge, it wears a little spot in it. Go back here. Okay, you ready? We're ready. This all goes well. Beautiful. Where the magic touch comes in, huh? These will leak, obviously. Uh huh. So I'm gonna caulk them with Cicaflex after I'm done. But these blocks will also come out. But the magic touch she's talking about it. After all that, you got one shot with a clean glove finger. Look at that, guys. It's amazing. Look at that. Oh, so slick and pretty. You want to be that. Yeah. Okay, so i am got these in. I'm going to come back with the Sika Flex and caulk these and caulk around them. And I'll come back with another tube of urethane and caulk on both sides of these blocks. Because I don't think they'll go anywhere, but I just want to make sure... Even though I've glued these in, there's still gravity wants to push them this way and it slopes that way, so that's why I... Anyhow, like I said, not a how-to video, just showing you guys. This is how I chose to put them in. Could have put them in with the rubber gasket, but with the rubber gasket, there's a lip, and the way this is, there would always be water puddled there, and the rubber on the top is going to get it's cooked gonna in get the sun. Okay guys, we're still up here on top of the world and um, Randy's got the window in. He's going to do some final touches and I'm going to go about enjoying my day. So thanks for following us along on this journey. We so appreciate it and uh, we love you guys. Thank you. Bye.